Did you know that there's a new wave of engineered wood products being used in homes today, like these eye joists that are used to frame the floor system in this new house? These eye joists can be up to 35% lighter and 50% stronger than conventional framing materials. Well, today we're in the Pacific Northwest and we're going to show you how eye joists like these are made. The Pacific Wood Tech Corporation opened this factory in the summer of 1999. It's designed to produce more than 24 million feet of eye joists every year. Bob, these eye joists are really gaining popularity on job sites for use as floor joists and rafters. Tell me how these are made. Well, Steve, they're made from three basic component parts. Uh, in the flange that you see here, we're using uh, 1 8 inch Douglas fir veneer. Uh, for the web material, we use OSB uh, oriented strand board. Uh, it's a special recipe, but that's what we use for the web material and the waterproof glue. So this is the actual veneers that might go into uh, this process. That so is you, correct. So you take these veneers and they're what, put in, cut and put into a press? They're put into a press, a hot laminating press uh, with glue again, and uh, that's what we use for flange stock. The flange stock is constructed a lot like plywood with one very distinct difference. The grain patterns for each ply are run parallel to each other on flange stock. For plywood, they're run perpendicular. The veneers are laminated together 14 layers thick under extreme heat and pressure. This laminating oven is nearly 100 yards long and produces a continuous sheet of flange stock that's cut into panels 65 feet in length. The panels are then cut into sections 2 inches wide and 65 feet long. 4x8 sheets of OSB are cut into boards about 7 inches wide and 8 feet long. Veneer flange is fitted onto each end of the OSB boards to form a 2x10 eye joist. On the job site, these eye joists will be used in place of conventional 2x10 solid wood boards. So Bob, I'm looking at your product here, which is an eye joist. I'm looking at this conventional 2x10, which might be a typical floor joist as well. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that um, this is actually stronger. Now, That's right. it feels a lot lighter than a conventional 2x10. Well, let's check it. We have a scale here. All right. This is your conventional 2x10, and it weighs approximately 4.5 pounds for this 16-inch long piece. And this is our eye joist, 10-inch eye, and we're looking at approximately 2.9 pounds. Well, it is a lot lighter, but it just doesn't seem to me that it could be stronger, though. Well, that, that's a fair challenge. Let's put it to the test. For several minutes, the eye joist holds firm as the pressure is increased. But eventually, it gives way. So, Bob, let's take a look where it broke. All right, and it broke at 5,600 pounds, Steve. Kind of hard to see where it broke, It actually. sure as heck is. Uh, right here. All right. Right in this area, you can see that where it cracked. All the way along. All the way through the OSB. Right in here. Now, if this were plywood in between here, would it have broken at a different strength? Actually, it would have been uh, a little bit sooner. Uh, OSB gives you better values in this application than plywood would as a web member. Well, now let's go take a look and see how the 2x10 does. OK, fair enough. Within seconds, the 2x10 starts cracking. But it's nearly one full minute later when it finally breaks. Well, Bob, I don't think we're going to need your marker for this one. No, it's pretty dramatic, isn't it, Steve? It really is. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. What uh, pressure did this break at? Uh, 3,750 pounds. Well, that's a, a lot different. That's a, certainly, it is. This is certainly, uh, the eye joist is a lot stronger than a conventional 2x10. And, and a nice uh, sample it is, too. Yeah, it's a good piece of wood. And here are the results of the test again. The eye joist suffered an almost invisible hairline fracture under 5,600 pounds of pressure while the conventional 2x10 almost split into two pieces at 3,750 pounds. Well, Bob, this is one long floor joist. How long do you cut these? Uh, this particular joist is 65 foot long, and they're set out in long length to be cut into multiples by the customer for whatever the application requires. So these would go to a lumber yard, and they'd cut them to whatever length I wanted. Right, that's right. And it, it'll be, uh, this one just uh, exited the curing oven. It'll be nested, wrapped, strapped, and sent out to our customer for use in your new house.